Thank you. President, President please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. God is back in session. Mr. Winners, I still have four or five questions on food ration at the southwest zone. My first question is. How many meals per day did you Première have question. when you worked in sector 105, Qingtong, Qingtong, commune? So, and I would like also to know how, how many meals you had per day when you worked in Kampong Swai, Kien Swai district, Kien sector 25. Answer. When I was the chief of Commune Front at Jingtong, it was during the war time. So the food ration was not uh, limited. The livelihood of people was based on respective communes. For instance, some communes uh, suffered from insufficient food to eat, but some others did not. During that time, there was mutual work group. And we helped each other. And during the war time, as I said, uh, uh, it nous, nous depended nous on respective communes to support oneself. As for food ration at Kampong Swife, new people Swai, and base people, les gens du peuple nouveau et ceux du peuple de base, had meal within cooperative, so they had uh, communal meal. In 1976, the food uh, was not sufficient. That is what I can tell the court. President, thank you. My question was to focus on the period of 17 April 1975, and particularly I wanted to know about the time when you worked in Kingsby District Sector 25. During the period after 1975, up to Donc, the period when you work in uh, Kingston Commune, how many meals uh, per day did uh, people have? Dans la commune de Chintong, combien de repas par jour les gens mangeaient-ils? Answer. After 17 April okay. 1975, Après immediately after the war ended, the food ration guerre, was not enough, particularly for general public, Surtout people from Phnom Penh went to live with their relatives uh, in communes, communes and base area. For some who did not have relatives at the base location or some ethnic ailleurs, Chinese, uh, they also Make that made that trip to base location. Se sont aussi rendus dans les bases. During the time, people had wheat. À l'époque, les gens avaient du blé. And base people were requested to share Et les gens du rice de base to the newcomers. Le riz avec les Let me clarify the food. Uh, at the food uh, situation Donc, at the time was not enough, so it depended on the practical situation et and circumstances. Sûr, la if one family had uh, 
three or five members, they would receive uh, the supplies accordingly. Since the food uh, situation uh, was not good yet. In your SEC evidence on 2nd Jul July 2015, you said that people in Kampong Swai had sufficient food, and even in 77 and 78, a surplus given to Ankar. What about the what about the time when you were in Chiangtong commune? Did you have sufficient food to eat? Answer. I would like. I am trying to answer your question, but it may not question, to your satisfaction. Mais de la After the 17 April 1975, the food situation in Chimtong Commune was not uh, sufficient. In 1976, I was reassigned to Kampong Spai, and I was there for one year. The food was not in surplus. However, we had corn as the supplementary food to eat. Later on, there was a decision to give uh, two camps of rice uh, with corn for people to eat. And as I said, uh, people ate communally. Sin Kampung Swai was rich, was productive in uh, corn. People had enough to eat, particularly rice and corn. President, when you were the commune secretary in Kampung Swai, did Sector 25 ever have shortages of uh, food supply? Answer. Let me clarify for the court. No food shortage happened in Kampong Swai commune, but let me point out again that uh, people had uh, rice uh, with corn, so the food shortage did not exist uh, in Kampong Swai. President, you stated that a surplus was given to Anka. So how many tons of surplus uh, was given to Anka per year, to your recollection? Answer. No surplus was non. given to Anka in 1976. But I want to tell your honors that I was in Kampong Swai for one year, and in 1977, Anka reassigned Lanka me to live in Bang Chiang commune, Kandasteng district, district de sector, 25. sector 25. President, thank you. Question. Merci. I want you to have a look at a document E3 slash E3 330. Said the President, minutes of the Standing Committee 
procès verbal. Dated uh, 22 February 1976. Il y a un Khmer 00 00 00 You will be given the minutes of the standing oui, committee by the greffier, and I instruct the AB unit to project that minutes Et on the specific pages in Khmer and English and écran, in Khmer, Khmer rather, uh, on the screen. The Khmer Eon once again is zero 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 seven one two. In the document, it states uh, Chinese aid arrived was hundred uh, was uh, ten thousand by. Was were you aware of uh, this when uh, you were the commune secretary? Alors que vous étiez secrétaire de commune. Answer. In fact, I received uh, the eight rice, but I cannot tell you, Mr. President, how many tons of rice were given to me. Mm, we received partially the eight since Kampong Swai was considered the rich commune, uh, thanks to the yield of corn. So, part Partial uh, rice aid was given Donc, to Kampong Swai, not all aids. Aide, President, I do not see uh, the document projected document on the screen, so what happened? Que se passe -il? President. My apology, uh, the legal officers uh, did not send uh, the specific page of document to the AV unit. That is why there's, there was no protection on the screen. My apology once again. Mr. Witness, could you try to think once again? Did uh, people receive food? Receive the same food as a ration, or Les different, or did different people uh, receive a different food rations? rations? Was there any distinction in uh, food rations in your commune? Dans votre commune, y avait-il une différence according to the ages of them, adults, uh, children, and other groups of people? Les adultes et les Personnes plus âgées recevaient tous Answer. la même quantité de nourriture. I may forget about that. Peut-être ai-je oublié. But in general, there was no distinction. Mais je, en People général, il n'y avait pas de were guaranteed with a sufficient food Tout le monde to avait assez de nourriture à manger. For their, the benefit of their health. Pour leur santé. In Kampong Swai commune, uh, people were uh, given equally in terms of food within the cooperatives. President, another document that I want you to look at as well is document E3-8, Ion in Khmer. 00075909 English 00104053 French 00301287 7 7 said the president this is a long document and is an economic plan for the years 1977-1980. I only want you to look at one table in the document. Table 60 is this 
described that the euh, Russian system throughout the country. Do you see it, Mr. Witness? I will give you a moment to read it. Je vais vous laisser un moment pour le lire. Table 60 appears to distinguish between four different types of workforces, number one, two, three, and four, with different quantities of rice to be given to each category. Do you recall uh, this happened during the time, as indicated in the table? Vous souvenez-vous que cela se soit produit à l'époque, comme indiqué sur le tableau? Let me answer this way. Réponse. In 1977, I was reassigned to work in Bang Kiang commune. So the food situation Rice. Frankly speaking, Bangkian commune had rice, cooked rice to eat, so no uh, problem of food shortage in Bangkian commune. Lastly, there is a topic I want to explore with you. Question. J'aimerais discuter d'un dernier sujet avec vous. It concerns the treatment of uh, Vietnamese. Il s'agit du when uh, you worked in Jingdong commune after the 17th April 1975, to your observation, was there any uh, mistreatment against uh, uh, Vietnamese by the cadres after the 17th April 1975 uh, in your commune and neighboring communes? Answer. I want to give my response in relation to the treatment of a Vietnamese. After the 17th April 1975, people were evacuated from Phnom Penh. There were about five Vietnamese families or below 10 Vietnamese family in Jingtong commune. There was an instruction from the district that Vietnamese people had to be guarded up in Angroka Pagoda and they should, their lives should never be touched or harmed. The same applies to their properties. Their properties should not be deprived due to the foreign policy. That was the instruction from the district. They come convened a meeting and informed the cadres of uh, Tramka commune Et about this matter. Le cadre de la commune de after after the meeting with her, I informed the village chiefs to invite Donc, all Vietnamese to Ang Roka Pagoda, Pagoda and Ankara. these Vietnamese uh, people had to be sent back to Et their home country. There was a point uh, made by uh, the regime at the time that Le there was no benefits to hate uh, those Vietnamese people. And uh, once again, de the instruction was that was not to harm donc de lives of Vietnamese people and their properties. Mal, but 
there was one point uh, made very clearly that if uh, those Vietnamese uh, possessed uh, of uh, arms, those arms should be uh, confiscated, but not their properties. President, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Winners, uh, for trying your best to give your responses to my questions. questions. So I am done with Je my questioning, but I first would like to know whether my si colleagues on collègues, the bench uh, would like to put uh, some further questions question to this witness. Ah, if you have, please proceed. Si I observe perhaps there are no more questions from the bench. Questions. Now the floor is uh, given to parties to put questions to this witness first. The floor is given to the co-prosecutor and civil parties at the first round. So the maximum time allocated to you is uh, one session and a half to put questions to this witness. So please be informed. Now you have the floor, the deputy co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I want to follow up on a subject that um, the President uh, asked you a little bit this morning. You testified that you um, in your interviews um, about joining the revolution, uh, becoming um, the chairman of the front in your commune. Um, I want to ask you about your membership in the party. Um, were you a member uh, of the Communist Party of Cambodia? Uh, and if so, when was it that you were introduced and became a member of the party? Answer. At the beginning, I did not know the assistant of uh, Communist Party of Cambodia. In 1971, when I became the front chief of Ching Tong Commune, particularly on the 28th, in late 1972, I cannot uh, recall the month. Je ne me souviens pas du mois. Anka. Included some chief of sector 25 in the list. And I was asked to make biography so that I could be enlisted into the CPK. The, introduce, the one who introduced me Celui into the party was Om Kyo, Ye Bo, and my and Bong Kaim uh, was the one who acknowledged uh, my entry into the party. And could you just tell us when, uh, when it was that you became Question. a member, uh, when you became a candidate uh, of the party, quand vous êtes devenu and when you became a full rights Et quand member vous êtes devenu membre of the party? De plein Answer. After I became a member of the Après Communist Party of Cambodia, at first uh, I uh, was a candidate, a member for début, membre nine months. I can recall it clearly that I bien. was the candidate member for nine months, after which I was agreed to be a full rights member of the party. Let me emphasize that 
At that time, there was a distinction of a social class. À il y avait Although des entre I was sociale. originally from donc, a poor peasant family, I was put in the status of candidate a member for a period of nine months. Candidat, membre candidat pendant neuf mois. You said you Question. were introduced um, to the party that one of the people was Ye Bo. Was this the Ye same Bo. woman, Ye Bo, that was Ye the Bo district secretary in Kingsville? District? District Bad. What? Answer. It is correct. Oui. Uh, she was the Kinsby District. She, wrote, she was part of the Kinsby District elle Committee. Elle partie du comité de district de And so I want to uh, just clarify something. Did did you become a member of the party? Were you in introduced by Ye Bo while you were still living in Chiang Thorn commune? Or did that not happen until when you moved to King? Cela ne s'est dit que lorsque vous êtes arrivé dans le district de Kinsway. Somme, tout cas, tu me réponds. J'ai d'abord habité dans le secteur 105 dans la commune de Chiang Thong. The district Anka, namely Yekom, introduced me to be the Four Rights member, and after which I was uh, reassigned to work at Kinsway district. Now you've testified um, today and earlier that. Uh, from 1971 to 1975, uh, you were the front, the chairman of the front in Chiang Thorn Commune. Um, and you've talked about the role of Ye Bun. Was, was Ye Bun the party secretary in Chiang Thorn Commune, uh, or was someone else the secretary of the party other than Ye Bun? When I was chief of the Chiang Tong Commune Front, the party secretary of Chiang Tong Commune was Tapan. That was the only role he had on the party's side. Du côté du parti. And he was referred to as the uh, party secretary Et for Chiang Tong Commune. However, he passed away. Did, did Ye Bun succeed Tapan as Ye party bon secretary in the commune? À cette personne en tant que secrétaire du parti. But a, a couple more questions about Ye Bun's position. Um, was she a, a member of the front, the side that you were involved in, or was Ye Bun uh, a member of the party committee? Can, can you clarify whether Ye Bun was uh, worked for the front, like yourself, or whether she was part of the party? A committee in your commune. commune.
at that time when I was chief of the Jing Tong commune, she was in charge of the uh, women association of the uh, DK regime. So she led the women in the commune. And each month she participated in the meeting invited by Tapon. I myself was invited to attend to that meeting as well. So uh, allow me to clarify, she did not uh, carry on the role of a tapon Elle at the time. Pas repris le rôle de tapon well, thank you for époque. clarifying that. Uh, another thing Merci. you were asked about by the president um, was the difference between the functions of the front and those of the party committee. And I want to uh, read to you uh, Donc, an excerpt from um, an OCIJ interview of Petch Chim, um, who later became the secretary of district, uh, who described, uh, gave a, a description of the difference between uh, the responsibilities or the function of the front and the party front, uh, as follows. Et du Quote, parti. This, this was the testimony of Pechim. Quote, the word front means mobilizing. Le terme front, cela veut dire mobiliser. I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm reading here Je from E3-9587, E3-9587, answer 21. Réponse 21. Quote, the word front means Le terme mobilizing. Front, cela veut dire mobiliser. Despite its existence, en de the son front existence, was under Le control of the party, par led parti. by Pol Pot, who was from the forest. The front was big, Le but it did not grand, have power. Mais pas For instance, Ye Kong, who was from the party, qui du parti, had more power than the front. Continuing in answer 23, loin, quote, réponse, the party was wholly and completely in charge of all work and everything was decided by the party. party. He then, Petch Chim then continues to give a description of loin, some details and at the end of this answer states the structure fin, dit, was structure the same from the commune level up to the central level, end of quote. Central. Uh, my question for you is, um, did this type of organizational structure exist in Chiang Torn commune uh, while you were chairman of the front? That is to say, did the did the party que uh, make parti decisions? Les décisions? Uh, and uh, uh, was the party in Et charge le parti of the front? Était du front? Yes, uh, that is correct. Réponse, oui, exact. Initially, I did not know about the existence of the party. I début, became a part of the front in order uh, to liberate the country. Later on, in 1972, en 1972 Brother Salm actually asked me to Kamarat make Salm a biography so that I could be inducted into the uh, party and the pond within the framework of the Tong commune invited me uh, to uh, take part in. At that time, Ching Tong commune involved in the uh, movement, in the covert uh, movement of resistance. That was the time that I realized the point covertly uh, led the party within Ching Tong commune. De façon so uh, you are correct, uh, the front uh, worked raison. under le the leadership of the uh, party. Du parti. And uh, a follow-up to that, um, 
Did the people who were the party secretaries, like Capon, who was secretary, party secretary in your commune, Yekom, who was party secretary for the district, did they have separate meetings, meetings that only members of the party committee could attend? comité du parti pouvait y participer ou y assister. Bah. Allow me uh, to clarify that on a monthly basis the uh, party leader initiated a meeting and then chief of the front had to report about the achievement at the base, about the activities of the people and uh, the uh, propaganda of the front and how were they involved in the movement in the war. So the front would make such a report to the party and through the chain of command such a report would reach the upper echelon, although I was not clear of how the chain of a command was. And as I said, the front was under the leadership of the party. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness. Let me read to you a short excerpt from your DC CAM interview, a document E3 slash 9118, Khmer ERN 00957780. English ERN 01098752. Um, this is what you said voilà to DC CAM. Quote, I did not know the district committee because they worked and kept a low profile. They did their work secretly. I saw Tamak's daughter, her name was Yekong, end of quote. What did you mean in this interview when you said that the district committee did their work secretly? I do not fully understand your question. Please uh, repeat it. Je n'ai pas bien compris votre question. Veuillez la répéter. Yes, you, you made a statement in your DC CAM oui, interview about the district committee led by Ye Kom, and you said that you didn't know exactly what they did because they worked secretly. My question, what, what, what did you mean Donc, by that? Did, did the district committee have meetings uh, that you as a member of the front um, were not, did not attend? Allow me to respond to your question. I, I get it now. And in fact, that is the case. In the capacity as the chief of the front of the commune, I would not know about the meetings held by the parties because the meetings were held in uh, secret and only later on when circulars were simulated to the commune we were in the position to implement those circulars and that's why I meant that uh, the process was uh, secretive because I myself was not invited uh, to uh, such meetings. Only when those meetings uh, concluded at the party level, then circulars were given to us uh, for implementation. And of course, I did not dare to ask how many uh, people from the district, etc., participated in those meetings held by the party. You were also asked by the president about 
Le Président, vous avez posé une question au sujet du secteur 25. Vous avez été transféré au secteur 25 et vous avez dit que c'était en 1976 que vous êtes arrivé dans le district de Kinsway. J'aimerais vous poser quelques questions de suivi sur Yeibo. Vous avez identifié elle As the secretary of Kingsway District, my question was: She also sent from the southwest zone from Takao to Kingsway, like yourself. And can you tell us were you sent to Kingsway at the same time as Yebo, or did you arrive earlier or later than her? Elle ou après elle. Nous sommes tous les quatre membres de la commission 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 From what I understood, Yebo worked in Kirivong district, and she was transferred to Kinsway after I had been transferred there. How long was it that you were in Kinsway before Yebo arrived? How many months or how long were you there before Yebo arrived in Kingsway District? L'arrivée de Yebo dans le district de Kingsway une fois que vous vous y êtes arrivé. Quand mình chạy trên biển chốn, cá chọn chăm là bọc nhóm mấy mình bán chăm. I cannot recall how many months are exactly. However, I can say that before Yebo arrived, there was Kroi, who was the secretary of Kinsway District. There was also a male and a female Sari who were at the district level, and several months after. Yebo arrived, and that is what I can recall. Voilà ce dont je me souviens. Yebo, the woman who came after you and took over as district secretary in Kinsway, was she related to Ye Bun, the woman that you had worked with, that also held a position in Chiang Torn commune? Were they related? Jie Bo and Jie Bun were sisters, and they came from Chiang Tong commune. I want to turn to some questions about the. The meetings that you've talked about this morning with the president. First, I want to try to clarify something. You've talked about a meeting that was held a few months after liberation at Phnom Trail. Um, where there was an instruction about law and all soldiers. I wanted to, to be clear. Was, was the meeting at Phnom Trail the only time you heard this instruction about law and all soldiers? Cette instruction au sujet des soldats de l'ONOL. Or was that subject also discussed at the meeting in 1976 in Takao, provincial town? Can you clarify that for us? Est-ce que vous pourriez nous clarifier cela? Bah, somme tout cas, mais tiens, tu me dis que tu n'as pas eu la peine. 
ประชุมนพนมแปีปอนหากองตัวเอฟอนเขาจะเข้าใจว่าเมื่อที่เราได้รับมาตรฐานในช่วงของเด็กนักเรียนจากมายเรื่องของเด็กนักเรียนที่ได้รับการแข่งขันในพนมทรายมาตรฐานแต่ฉันไม่สามารถจำกัดเรื่องของการแข่งขันในพนมทรายมาตรฐานในพื้นที่ของเด็กนักเรียนที่ได้รับการแข่งขันในพนมทรายมาตรฐาน And I uh, cannot recall whether I made any previous statement uh, regarding the content of the meeting in the k a i provincial town. Although I can recall that, that the uh, the subject of the former l o n o r soldiers uh, was mentioned during a meeting held at p n o m t r a i l Mountain. Is it accurate to say then that? You're not sure at this time whether or not the issue about l o n o l soldiers was discussed at the 1976 meeting in t a k a o Provincial Town. Is that is that accurate? Is that accurate? At that time, the main emphasis was on the uh, soldiers. And, uh, but made a presentation about the soldiers, about uh, building and defending the country. So uh, by that time, actually, the focus was on. Diverting the military forces into uh, building the country and into defending the country, and that uh, the that should be strengthened at the basis. As for the uh, topic of the uh, Lonol soldiers. I recall that uh, the topic was mentioned at the uh, meeting at the Phnom t r a i Mountain. So, uh, for the other meeting, the, the emphasis was on building and defending the country. And I maintained my position, and this is consistent with my previous statements that I have made. And and just. Uh, just so we're clear, Mr. Witness, when you say that in the the later meeting, uh, the 1976 meeting in Takao Provincial Town, uh, focused on soldiers and building the army, uh, you're talking. Are you talking about the? Um, Uh, Democratic c a m p u c h i a army. Um, the focus on building soldiers in uh, the uh, Democratic c a m p u c h i a A revolutionary army. Is that right? Dans révolutionnaire du c a m p u c h i a c'est exact. Yes, I refer to uh, the army of the d k regime. Uh, so we had to strengthen the force. Nous devions renforcer la force. And allow me to uh, add that uh, from my recollection, in theory. We had to strengthen the forces, théorie, and the but was the one who uh, spoke about strengthening the the armed forces at various levels. That is, at platoon, company, or battalion, or regimental level. And I made mention about that uh, in my uh, morning's testimony matin, that we should not just uh, relax uh, with the victory. Que nous ne devions pas nous reposer sur nos lauriers suite But à la victoire. Pour nous, représentant la compagnie, le bataillon ou le régiment, malgré notre victoire du 17 avril 1975, nous avons dû nous rappeler de la victoire du Vietnam le 30 avril de la même année. Et que cela a forcé à nous mettre en partie de cette so-called spéciale friendship. Solidarité pour un pays, pour une personne sans frontières. 
and that Vietnam had entered into the Warsaw of Pact. So we would not be sure as how much pressure we would be uh, we would receive in the future. And for that uh, reason, we had to strengthen our forces militarily in order to defend our territory, defend our nation, and to build our nation. That is uh, to the best of my recollection. So I want to ask you a few questions specifically about uh, the meeting at Phnom Trail, uh, the meeting that took place um, a couple of months after liberation. Um, I think it's it's important, um, Mr. President, that's why I'm realizing that um, the prosecution is accurate as to what the testimony of the witness is. Um, he has said um, one month, um, possibly two months after liberation. Uh, now a few months or a couple of months could be two months, but um, in his DC chem statement he says specifically one month after uh, the liberation. Un mois après la libération, morning, précisément, added, dans sa déclaration CDECAM, so il l'a répété ce matin et éventuellement dit peut-être demain. Voilà ce qu'il a exactement dit. And just to clarify, at, uh, when he testified before the Supreme Court chamber um, last year, he testified it was three months after liberation. Après la libération. Um, so we've heard one month, two months, and three months mois, after liberation in terms of the timing of this meeting. Um, I may ask you some more questions réunion. about the timing, um, but for now, uh, I want you to focus on uh, this meeting at Phnom Trail. And this morning, uh, you were asked about the participants at the meeting, and you told the President that the participants included a chief of the 50 member and 100 member um, units who were invited. Can you explain who were the chiefs of the 50 member and 100 member uh, units or households? Who were those people? Allow me to uh, clarify about the 50-man unit and the 100-man unit, although I did not know them all. The situation was uh, rather chaotic after the victory day of 17 April 1975. And for that reason, some invited the soldiers and the cadres to attend the, the urgent meeting at the Phnom Trail Mountain. At that time, evacuees from Phnom Penh and elsewhere were sent to uh, the bases. And we were concerned that uh, some people would wants to take revenge Nous against the former Lunar soldiers, and we wanted to maintain peace at the Nous base. So I believe base. my statement this morning as well as this afternoon donc, should be sufficient for you. Well, the reason I ask you, Mr. Question, Witness, is weren't, uh, weren't the people who were um, chiefs of 50 member uh, hundred member households, th th these were people who were, um, had these positions in the prior regime. Uh, isn't that right? Wasn't this a term used for the people who um, were leaders in villages in the prior regime? The term 50-man unit or 100-man unit, in fact, uh, these were military terms. In fact, for the 50-man unit, uh, there are about 30 plus members. And uh, three 50-man units would comprise a 100-man unit. They were actually called by Anka for re-education as they were children of the uh, local villagers. 
Blancard pour être éduqué parce que c'était des enfants des villageois locaux. There was a concern that uh, information should be provided to all members of the 50 and 100 units de 50 et de 100 personnes. so that they uh, should understand the situation pour and not to take revenge et pour que against the other Khmer people, ne à des namely des the uh, Lonol soldiers. Because Lonol soldiers, some of them actually were related to the local villagers. And that was the purpose of disseminating such information. And I don't think I have anything else to add to this topic. Just to make sure I understand, Question. when you refer to, when you refer to 50 member and 100 member units, you were actually referring to platoons and companies uh, that were part of the Khmer Rouge military. Do I understand correctly? Yes, that is correct. I refer to the structure of the Khmer Rouge Army. And this meeting at Phnom Trail, um, was it a meeting uh, just of a Sector 13 cadres? Uh, or was this a meeting that included other sectors in the southwest zone? Allow me to clarify about the meeting held at the Phnom Trail Mountain. It was held at Sector 13 in the Southwest Zone. However, Sector 13 was part of the Southwest Zone. Yes, I understand that. The question is. Uh, was this a meeting that was limited to cadres from Sector 13, or did it include cadres from other sectors of the Southwest Zone, for example, Sector 25, um, Sector 35? Um, do you understand my question? The uh, meeting was only for Sector 13. Seuls les gens du Sector 13 étaient convoqués à la réunion. There were no participants from Sector 25 or 35. Personne des secteurs 25 ou 35. Okay, I want to now um, ask you about um, some of the, the differences. À présent. Um, in the way you have described uh, this meeting, um, in your various uh, statements qui and dans vos différentes déclarations sur la façon de, que vous avez now testified sur les descriptions que vous avez données de four cette times about réunion. Uh, the meeting in which you heard this instruction uh, not to harm Lon Nol soldiers. Des instructions de ne pas faire de mal um, aux soldats de Nol. In your earliest your first interview on the subject uh, to DC CAM in April 2011. This is document E3 slash 9118, Khmer ERN 00957793394, English 01098761. 1, 0, 9, 6, uh, in that interview, you said that page, the, the meeting where you heard this instruction took place one month after liberation at Phnom Trail Mountain. You said that it was Tamok who spoke, and that what he said, what Tamok said was, I quote, Je sais, soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher, colonel ou plus élevé, colonel or higher would not be killed. In your next interview dans uh, in February 2013 by OCIJ, uh, document E3 slash 9455, answer 9, uh, you said that the meeting where you heard this instruction was held in Takao Provincial Town. 
l'instruction de l'union de la chef lieu de la province de Takeo that it was Secretary Après avril 2015, et que c'était le secrétaire Sound qui avait pris la parole, et qu'il avait alors été annoncé que les soldats ayant un rang, plutôt un grade de sous-lieutenant à colonel, devaient être épargnés. L'année dernière, en juillet 2015, vous avez déposé devant la Chambre de la Cour suprême document F1 F1 slash 1.1 at 10 21 51 10 24 and you gave it a, another yet another uh, account you Et said vous avez dit autre chose. this time vous avez dit, the meeting -là, took place que la three avait months eu lieu after liberation trois mois après la libération. at uh, the uh, Phnom Mountain in Angkor Chai à la montagne that Angkor Chai, was not at the meeting and that the instruction là, given by Tassan was that former soldiers up to the rank of colonel should colonel not be harmed, uh, end of quote. So we've heard differences Nous in your description of the meeting. Uh, can you tell us why, um, why it is that each time you've testified, oui, vous nous dire pourquoi uh, chaque fois que vous vous exprimez sur les questions, vous donnez une réponse différente. About the details of this meeting. Why has your testimony changed pourquoi vos, uh, from vos time déclarations to time changent-elles uh, de temps en temps au sujet des détails de cette réunion? Allow me to clarify the issue. It was not my intention to make different statements from my recollection. You made uh, the uh, distinct point between the level of colonels up and the level of the colonel down. Enfin, cette différence entre colonel et inférieur et colonel je maintiens ce que j'ai dit dans mes déclarations précédentes et je n'avais pas like l'intention de changer quoi que ce soit. J'ajouterais que je prends de l'âge et euh, que ma well. mémoire n'est peut-être pas aussi bonne qu'avant. Honnêtement, je suis délighté d'être ici pour vous assister avant cette chambre et j'essaie de vous dire tout ce dont je peux vous souvenir. Je vais faire de mon mieux pour vous dire tout ce dont je peux vous souvenir. Et bien sûr, avant que j'ai testifié, j'ai pris un oath to tell the truth. Et je vais vous dire que j'ai prêté serment de dire la vérité. Et je maintiens cela, je veux vous dire la vérité afin d'assurer la paix au Cambodge. Je veux que cela soit bien clair. I will not change what I said je ne changerai pas ce que j'ai dit plus tôt. C'est la vérité. I Recall the statement that I made in relation to the former lunar soldiers from the second lieutenant up to the colonel. However, he added that if they take any action, then we would take measure. Although I did not know what such measure would mean. Ah, plutôt, il a dit que si eux agissaient, des mesures seraient prises. Je ne savais pas de quelles mesures il parlait exactement. Voilà ce dont je me souviens. Engaged in any action, then we would take action. Let me let me ask you this way. Question. Let me pose the question to you. In your first your DC Cam interview, you said the the announcement was that soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Would not be killed. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with ranks from second lieutenant to colonel. And then at the end of the Supreme Court, it was that soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers with the rank of colonel or higher. Then in your next interview, it was soldiers quelle est votre compréhension des grades utilisés dans l'armée de l'ONNOL Vous pouvez par exemple nous dire quels étaient les grades supérieurs au colonel Vous pouvez nous dire quels sont les grades entre sous-lieutenant et colonel Bref, quel était votre niveau de connaissance des grades utilisés dans l'armée de l'ONNOL Je 
get the uh, the military ranking from the second lieutenant to colonel. Au sujet des grades. I myself is not familiar je with the such a structure. Je ne pas très bien cette structure. However, I heard about the uh, second lieutenant or the colonel or whether de, that person uh, was a captain ou que était capitaine, but I myself is not that familiar colonel, with the military structure even up to today I am not that familiar with it je, ça, je ne pas bien, let me um, read to you something you said during your Supreme Court chamber testimony F1 at 15, 13.36. This is what you said. You were asked, Mr. Voilà Witness, would you understand rank to mean témoin, officer based upon comme étant les officiers, what was discussed during the study sessions that you intended from second lieutenant up or first lieutenant up? Donc, answer, the word rank, to my understanding, grade, uh, although ma, ma, I am really unclear on the definition de ma and I have never sought clarification from any expert uh, on the term, uh, me, me so I won't be confused you by giving an unclear definition. Je ne voudrais pas ajouter la confusion en vous donnant une réponse peu claire. Alors, le témoin, vous avez vous-même reconnu que vous ne connaissez pas bien, vous avez des connaissances limitées des, du système de hiérarchie militaire. Est-il possible que votre mémoire de ce rang, de ce grade plutôt, pour lequel vous avez reçu des instructions, n'est pas exacte of your lack of understanding Justement parce que vous of the ranks in the mal long military. Um, Mr. President, I object to this question. It's, it's very repetitive. Um, I have a question from you in the morning. Il a répondu à une question que vous avez posée, Monsieur le Président. Le témoin a dit clairement, il a donné la vérification, il a expliqué, il a dit que tous les soldats du rang de colonel et inférieur devaient être épargnés. Alors, s'il sait qu'il s'agit des capitaines, des majors, des sergents, ce n'est pas important. Il était très clair quand il répondait à votre question. Il a dit que tous les soldats occupant un grade inférieur à colonel devait être épargné. Je pense que donc c'est une question répétitive et finalement l'accusation cherche à créer de fausses différences entre ces différentes déclarations. Le procureur, si vous me permettez de mettre en sa mort. Mr. President, I would like to object to the uh, conclusion by the prosecutor that this witness is not familiar with the military ranking, in particular the Lunar Army. The witness has stated about the military structure, although he is not that familiar with it, in terms of the second lieutenant or the lieutenant or the captain, the witness made mention of these ranks. And it is wrong on the co prosecutor side to assume that this witness is not familiar with the military structure, and I don't think that is appropriate on the prosecution side que l'accusation tire une telle conclusion. If I may briefly respond, it was the witness himself who has said c'est le témoin lui-même qui a dit tant dans sa comparution devant la Cour suprême et ici même qu'il ne connaissait pas bien la question des grades. Il a fait des déclarations complètement contradictoires dans ses entretiens précédents. Une fois, il a dit que c'était les gens colonels et supérieurs, les autres c'était les grades inférieurs à colonels. My question is Donc, simply to find out whether, because of his de limited understanding of ranks, that the reason for these discrepancies, uh, that his understanding of specific ranks, that that his understanding of specific ranks, that his understanding of specific ranks, that his understanding of I think it's a fair question. Given his different accounts, 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 given his different accounts,
Bah, on... Le président. président. The objections by the La two defense teams are overruled and the chamber needs to hear the response from the witness to the last question by the deputy co-prosecutor so that he may clarify the matter uh, once and for all. Witness, please respond to the last question if you recall it. Mr. President, Le témoin. Witness, uh, could you please uh, repeat your uh, last la question? question? Give me uh, some more details de so that I can respond. Un peu plus de pour que je vous uh, I'm happy to, Mr. Witness. Um, L'accusation. Uh, oui, j'en serais ravi. Monsieur le témoin, je vous ai lu in which you have described les différentes descriptions que vous avez données de l'instruction que vous aviez reçue. Et je ne euh, dis pas que vous um, ne faites pas de votre uh, mieux remember. pour vous um, souvenir. My you, you're acknowledged limited understanding of disais, ranks vous avez reconnu que vous avez une connaissance no limitée, une compréhension limitée des grades um, qui étaient utilisés for sous the London, dans l'armée sous London. Et donc, peut-on um, dire que l'explication des différences de vos, entre vos déclarations, c'est que justement, uh, vous ne vous comprenez pas bien, vous n'avez pas de bons souvenirs des grades 30 ou 40 ans après les faits. Allow me to clarify uh, the issue. The thing is, the such a military rank in précisions. my bass uh, did not exist. Il avait pas de tel grade dans and ma if base. I were to know about uh, somebody who held Donc, a rank, that was told to me by that person. Si quelqu'un me disait qu'il avait un rang, c'est parce qu'il me l'avait dit. My, si je uh, le savais, c'est parce qu'il me l'avait dit. Dans mon village et dans ma commune, no one actually held uh, the rank from the second lieutenant to a colonel. Un colonel. And as for the uh, specific name of each rank, I Pour myself is not grades, that familiar je with vous it. Avouerai que je ne connais pas bien cela. I and in fact, I do not intend to know uh, any details about the uh, military rank. Je ne prétends pas connaître le système de hiérarchie uh, militaire. Response to voilà la question. réponse que je peux vous donner. President, uh, thank you, witness. Merci, it is now appropriate for a short break. We take a break now and we should. At 5 past 3. 15 Court officer, please assist the uh, witness at the waiting room reserved for witnesses during the break time. And invite him back into the courtroom at uh, five past three. The court is now in recess. Suspension,